بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم وی آر آن آن لائن لیکچر نمبر نائن آف دا انٹروڈکشن ٹو کمپیوٹنگ کورس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس مور اباؤٹ سسٹم یونٹ اسپیشلی وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اباؤٹ ڈفرینٹ ٹائپس آف پورٹس بیز ایکسپینشن سلاٹس اڈیپٹر کارڈس ویڈیو کارڈس ایکسیکٹرا ڈفرینٹ ٹائپس آف کنیکٹرس so with that let us move on to the objectives of today's lecture so we already have discussed uh, types of computer memory in detail and today we are going to discuss expansion slots expansion cards ports base and mobile computers so with that uh, let us uh, start form let us formally start our lecture so Uh, there are two things uh, expansion slots and expansion cards so what is the difference what are pc cards and flash memory cards so a pc card adds a memory sound modem and other capabilities to the notebook or to the desktop computer so if you have a pc card reader then you can expand the memory computer memory you can add additional memory you can add additional external memory you can add sound cards you can add modem and other capabilities uh, to your computer so here you see different types of uh, pc cards uh, having uh, different um, cap- capacity storage capacity so uh, and you one thing that you have experienced nowadays that these cards are now i mean the use of these cards are becoming uh, rare so people rarely use it this is because the whether it is smartphones or whether, whether it is uh, uh, whether it is computer they come with a large storage memory or with the large computer memory so that is why using them uh, i mean uh, the user does not uh, uh, require uh, using them and like uh, uh, we we have also seen that the price of these cards are now i mean they are now very cheap so this is because the computer or, or the smartphone and the computers are internally now very stable they have large storage a good processor large memory space and then we have similar uh, types of uh, uh, memory called a flash memory card allows user to transfer data from mobile device to a desktop device we have a concept called hot plugging which allows you to insert and remove card while the computer is running so i mean before that uh, before hot plugging you have to turn off the computer and then you have to configure it and then you have to st- restart your uh, computer again and then uh, the computer was able to detect uh, uh, a flash memory card so it was very time consuming but now with the concept of how uh, hot plugging you can just plug and play your external memory card or sound or modem so it, it's a great advantage so with uh, these expansion slots so expansion slots are play a place where your expansion cards are snugged in the, where they are plugged in so with these uh, slots and with these expansion cards you can increase the uh, capacity capability and performance of uh, your computer system so a computer may not a computer ha- uh, may have a less memory so you can increase the memory computer may not have no uh, sound card or no sound system so you can insert sound card uh, and then computer may not have a modem so then at that time you insert modem and you uh, like you can increase or add other capabilities to your desktop computers so now uh, what are ports and what are connectors so uh ports connects connects external devices to the system unit connector join cables to the peripherals so you can see that we have uh, different types of ports over here so what is their functionality with that we are able to connect external devices such as input output devices memory devices to the system unit to your main motherboard so this is like uh, an old uh, computer system but for the purpose of illustration you can see we have a mouse port a keyboard port and then a serial port where data is transferred serially one bit at a time 
and then we have a printer parallel port a USB port so we have USB port number one USB port number two you can see these all these ports at the back of your computer we have a monitor VGA port and then we have S video out port a speaker port microphone port telephone line in port cable TV port FM reception port network port fire wire port game port monitor port so all are all these are the different ports where you can connect your external devices to the system unit so nowadays you do not see these types of four ports in your laptop computer because nowadays with single uh, universal USB port you can connect all the input as well as output devices with your computer or with your uh, laptop um, laptop device so I mean uh, but still uh, people are using desktop computer so you can um, then see and experience all uh, types of these ports and then we have connectors so connectors are like cables uh, joints cable to the peripheral devices so you can see that power cord this is a connector so it supplies power to your computer system then we have keyboard connector you can see over here and then mouse connector printer connector S video connector microphone connector speaker connector telephone line connector television audio connector TV cable TV connector network connector fire wire connector monitor connector USB connector but a serial connector but you um, can uh, like now understand that today we have uh, I mean in most of the laptop system we only have uh, HDMI um, port and then a USB port 2 or 3 USB port and then we have a power port uh, and then a uh, few other ports for card reader etc so that is because uh, with one universal USB port you can connect any device you can connect printer you can connect smartphones you can connect external uh, hard drive device you can connect uh, it, mouse keyboard external keyboard anything that you want so it's a great advantage I think you reduce the complex um, complexity and you like uh, prefer using um, only one port so I mean um, then the comp laptop system or the computer system also become easier to use so what are different types of connectors so you may come across a situation where you have to understand the different types of connectors so um, there are uh, different types of connector uh, nowadays in uh, latest computer you will not see these types of connector but for the purpose of illustration you should know that uh, what are these connectors and what are um, the functionalities of these connectors so we have serial port external modem so if you want to uh, use external modem then for that you have a serial port serial port normally comes in 9 pin uh, mail connector but uh, I mean the reason we call it serial port is because uh, it transfer data uh, like one bit is transferred at a time so data is transferred serial in a serial fashion one by one and then we have EGA enhanced graphics adapter or CGA computer graphics adapter video card where uh, again it's a like nine pin female uh, connector so uh, uh, once again you use it to uh, enhance the video uh, quality of your computer system and then we have another type of VGA or EGA video adapter or video uh, connector and it is normally used to play high density uh, video um, uh, uh, high density uh, to display high density graphics or to play high definition videos etc and then you play digital videos with uh, an interface monitor having 24 pin so once again let me tell you that you are going to rarely experience these types of connector in your practical life especially if you people are using the laptops computers so do not worry about them they were used now they are rarely used but still in some desktop system you will experience uh, you will see these types of connectors um, and then for uh, external modem SCSI type of uh, devices we use 25 pin mail connector again it's a serial port and then for printer 
tape back up a parallel port is used um, having 25 pin it's a female parallel port but um, the reason we call it parallel is because at one time you transfer multiple bit uh, to the printer or to the tape backup device and then we have 36 pin female mini ribbon um, printer port so this is an advanced version so uh, once again it's up to you which one you use or uh, which one uh, comes with your computer system uh, we have a Centronics female printer uh, connector uh, again these are different types of parallel printer than SCSI Centronics female connector and then we have 25 pins female game port uh, if you people are interested in playing games so you use these types of 25 pin female connector game ports um, most often nowadays we use uh, like a USB universal serial bus connector so connects up to 127 different peripheral device so if you have one USB port then you can expand it uh, connect for further USB port to this one USB port and then um, uh, with that USB port bus you can connect up to 127 different types of peripheral device so you may be wondering that why we are using all these types of uh, ports so you do, do not have to use it like these were all types of connectors so now you use only one uh, USB port so it's simple efficient faster so that is why people prefer it so then we have firewire connects up to uh, 63 different peripheral device very rarely used but I mean it's an advanced version you may use it in future uh, we have telephone modem uh, connector uh, it has come in 6 pin female modular telephone uh, people rarely use it because nowadays we have uh, like uh, other types of network uh, connector and we have wireless connector wireless modem so these are rarely used uh, then we have uh, a 180 uh, 5 pin 180 female din keyboard uh, so you can plug keyboard inside uh, keyboard connector inside this um, use this connector to insert the keyboard then for local area network we use this 8 pin female connector BNC mail coaxial for coaxial cable you use this local area network um, connector and then for mouse and keyboard this type of six pin mail mini din connector is used uh, we have a mini plug for speaker and microphone where uh, you can like uh, uh, you can output the sound of a computer on your speaker or microphone so uh, with that um, I think it is now clear to you uh, that uh, different types of connector exist and um, some of them are most of them are rarely used today but uh, for now you should only be familiar with USB port because this is commonly used in laptop and computer system so now what is a serial port so why we call it a serial port we call it serial port because it transmits one bit of data at a time so you see here the data is transferred at one bit at a time so that is why it is called serial port because data is trans transmitted serially serial transmission of data so a byte representation for one number is 0011001 and then we have one byte two byte three bytes so one bit is transferred at one time so you, you can see that we are transferring three bit but first uh, the bits of the first byte is transferred and then the bits of second byte is transferred and then the bits of third uh, byte is transferred so this is a db9 male port and this is db9 female connector so you connect this connector with this port um, usually for mouse and keyboard and um, uh, uh, and modem uh, it has because it is serial so it has so it is uh, slower uh, speed so connect slow speed devices such as mouse keyboard and modem so then we have a parallel port parallel port normally uh, is faster than serial port because connect devices that can transfer more than one bit at a time such as printer so here you can see one byte is transferred at one time so eight bit are transferred at a particular time so serial or concurrent data transmission is possible if you use the parallel port so if you want to transfer uh, the large amount of data or if you want to transfer a, uh, print a huge uh, file then you can use it so it will give a better performance as compared to the serial port and then we have our very uh, best friend a USB port universal serial bus port 
um, the, these are the most common ports used nowadays uh, USB or universal serial bus port can connect up to 127 different peripherals peripherals mean input and output device together with a single connector type so with a single connector type you can connect up to 127 different peripheral uh, devices so PC typically have two to four USB ports on front or back of the system unit single usb port can be used to attach multiple peripherals in a daisy chain daisy chain means that you connect a usb bus to the usb uh, port and then that usb bus contain up to 50 or 100 or 200 different usb port so at that usb bus you can connect up to 127 different peripheral device so first USB device connect to USB port on the computer, second USB device connect the first USB device, third USB device connect the second USB device and so on. So this cycle continues until you have 127 different types of peripheral devices. Okay, uh, uh, with that let us move on. Uh, there are special purpose ports which allows a user to attach specialized peripherals such as digital videos, cameras, color printers, scanners, disk drive or transmit data to wireless device. So we have SCSI, small computer system interface, parallel port, audio port, serial port, keyboard port, mouse port, but we have, you know, instead of using them, you can use USB 1.1, USB 2.0, you can use Firewire, connector and this is uh, the AC power used to supply power to the computer system so now, so what are the special purpose ports firewire ports MIDI musical instrument digital interface ports SCSI small computer system interface ports IRDA infrared data association port Bluetooth port so all these ports can be used to attach specialized peripherals or transmit data uh, to the wireless device so what are the specialized peripherals they can be digital video cameras color printers scanners disk drive etc all right so but um, nowadays uh, let me repeat that these are replaced by the usb ports and then we have uh, another commonly used term called a bus so what is a bus when you are discussing about the internal architecture or internal organization of a computer system so bus is a channel that allows device inside computer to communicate with each other. Now inside computer system we have many different types of devices or components. So in order to transfer data among these components you use a bus. So the wider the bus has is the more the data you can transfer at one time. So for example we use a data bus to transmit the data between hard disk and the processor. So system bus connects processor and RAM bus width determines the number of bit transmitted at one time so then we have another term called word size is the number of bit processors can interpret and execute at the given time so the more power the processor has the more uh, number of bits processor can interpret and execute at a given time and the wider the bit is uh, the bus width is it means that the more data we can provide it to the uh, to the uh, computer CPU so if you have a narrow small bus width so it it will decrease the performance of your computer system because though your processor is very fast but you are not providing enough data to the processor or large data to, to the processor to process it or to execute it so at that time um, like there is no you do not get any advantage of having a very powerful processor so I remember you have these like uh, different chips that connects to this uh, system bus so this is a system bus because the Intel Pentium 4 processor is connected to the RAM this is your RAM through this system bus and data travels parallel concurrent inside this system bus so the wider the bus is the more lines or the more um, uh, connectors the bus has it means that the more data will be transferred at one time and then we have uh, an expansion bus so uh, you can see that there are uh, various types of buses but uh, we, we are going to discuss them step by step um, so what is an expansion bus 
Exchange expansion bus allows processor to communicate with the peripheral devices. So a processor do not have to communicate just with the just with your RAM. So you can see that this is the system bus is it is the fastest bus used inside the computer system. There you have a chipset that is used for coordination and communication. You have this a CPU processor. So this is a system bus and this is a system bus. So you can see that the red bus is the fastest one. And then we have AGP bus slot, AGP bus. This is the next faster bus. And then we have a PC peripheral component interface bus where you can like uh, and you can use many other peripheral devices. Um, inside this expansion sort you can use modem network card sound card video card etc um, so this is a pci bus and then this is isa bus um, you and still we use other types of peripherals isa expansion slot so you can use other type of peripherals here like gpu um, like modem etc other types of uh, devices in order to enhance the performance of your computer system so these are the different types of buses. So you can see that um, the AGP bus, the PCI bus, the ISA bus, all, all comes under the expansion bus. So they are types of the expansion bus. And then we have another concept called bay. So what is a bay? Normally bay is a point where you um, open area inside system unit used to install additional equipment. So you can see that this is a bay. DVD drive, CD drive, floppy disk drive, zip drives. Um, nowadays they are rarely used, um, but uh, once again it's up to you. Uh, so uh, once again, open area inside system unit used to install additional equipment. So you install additional equipment using these types of base, or you like provide data, or you play videos, audios, etc. Whatever you want. Drive base typically hold disk drives. Typically, these bay hold the disk drive like CD drive, um, and DVD drive, floppy drive, and um, the floppy inside DVD, CD, floppy drive we have the DVD, CD, floppy drive player where you can install uh, different types of DVD, C, uh, CD, and floppy, and then um, like transfer that data or transfer video audio files to the processor in order to play it so with that i'm going to for a moment see the time okay we still have time all right and then there is um, another concept and that is called Uh, mobile computers. Mobile computers are nowadays everywhere. Your smartphone is a mobile computer. Like uh, I can say that uh, the Android um, uh, Android S30 or A30s is a type of a computer. Then you have iPhone computers uh, and you have uh, Motorola computers and like other types of uh, Motorola smartphones. So all, all these are types of um, computers. So they are called mobile phone because they you carry them everywhere. So they are integral part of uh, you uh, your life. So you carry them to your office, you carry them to your home, even you can carry them to the playground, to the library, etc. Um, so notebook uh, which uh, weighing, be weighing between 2.5 and 8 pounds or mobile device such as personal digital assistants all these are types of mobile computers but now we see a lot of people using these mobile computers because uh, I mean, they have a large um, battery size where uh, I mean you can use their smartphone for a complete one day or two days or three days depending upon the, uh, the battery capacity of your uh, smartphones. So here we have a mobile computer, it's a small laptop, it has a PC card in PC card slot, um, a disk in floppy disk drive or zip drive, so you can also use this floppy drive uh, inside this uh, laptop. And then we have CD, DVD drive, compact disk, digital video uh, and, and drive, uh, 
digital versatile drive uh, where you can insert DVDs and CDs then you have external battery um, this is a type of PDA uh, it has a flash memory card to enhance the memory capacity of your computer system so uh, this is I think an old type of a laptop nowadays you have very enhanced powerful laptop uh, and you can get one even if you have a budget of 24 to 30k so what is in the system unit of a mobile computer so you see that this is a noteboard computer motherboard whereas this is a PDA mother personal digital assistant motherboard so these are smaller in size as compared to the desktop computers so motherboard processor and memory also devices such as keyboard speaker and display they are all attached to this motherboard so you can see that there are different types of chips slots connector capacitors ROM memory so the size is more compact in smaller area you are able to use different types of memory ROM processor uh, different types of cards so this this thing really uh, like with in uh, a uh, small area you are able to uh, use um, uh, a lot of uh, integrate a lot of component and then use them so the lighter the computer is the smaller the computer is um, so then more power uh, and the more powerful the computer is so definitely these types of uh, computer system are preferred by the users okay what are ports on the noteboard computer so usually on the older version of the laptop computers you see parallel ports uh, at the back of the computer system there are serial ports video ports usb ports keyboard mouse ports but nowadays uh, you, we only experience hdmi and usb port and other type of port um, on the laptop computer so the use of parallel port and serial port are now very rare okay uh, with that let us move on what ports are on the tablet PC so this is a tablet PC it's uh, like smaller in size you have a built-in microphone inside this PC firewire port so these ports are all like connected to the mm, on the monitor screen of your computer system so headset and microphone port jacks you have a USB ports IRDA ports so same ports that you use on the desktop computer but the, now they are all on as, as a part of your monitor uh, screen and um, there are a lot of Apple Macintosh system where you will experience only a screen so there is no system unit because the system unit is integrated part of the screen so the screen the system unit all are integrated into one unit we have IRDA port here and built-in speakers so this computer is more compact than the old style desktop computers but nowadays they even they are replaced by your uh, uh, by the smartphone and your latest uh, laptop computers okay uh, putting it all together what are suggested processor clock speed and ram requirement based on the needs of various types of user so because there are various types of us uh, users so various types of processor clock speed and ram is recommended and suggested uh, i'll recommend you people to buy a good laptop because you are going to use this laptop throughout your life you are going to use it for freelancing you are going to use it for completing your assignment or for playing games or for communication purpose so you should have a good computer system having minimum of 8, 8 gigabytes of ram at uh, it should be core i7 uh, minimum of 9 to 9th or 10th generation 10th generation is more recommended by a laptop uh, having minimum 500 gigabytes of hard disk and the hard disk should be solid state drive ssd so no compromise on ssd ssd so there is a huge performance difference between ssd and old style old style uh, hard disk because ssd is not in mechanical in nature 
uh, the old style hard disks were mechanical in nature and they, are, they were very slower they consume a lot of battery so all these things make your computer like these affect the performance of your computer so do not compromise on uh, like buying uh, a good uh, performance computer so uh, still uh, i mean uh, um, uh, uh, for home users they recommend pentium 4 but i'll recommend core i7 because i think uh, minimum ram nowadays minimum ram 20, 128 is not enough and then we have some other users but like uh, uh, um, uh, just as i told you you should buy buy a good laptop having 8 gigabytes of ram a good uh, large screen minimum of 5.6 inch and then uh, a solid state drive ssd hard drive of 5 at least 500 gigabytes and then core i7 with 9 or 10 generation and then if you have a good gpu graphics card so that is also that will be a plus point so with that um, we have the summary of components of system unit so the system unit part is uh, like we have completely discussed it in detail we discussed the different components of system unit how memory stores data instruction and information sequence of operation that occurs when a computer executes an instruction comparisons of various personal computer processor on market today so it's up to you uh, which laptop you buy or which computer system you buy uh, but these are the different concepts um, that you should keep in your mind so with that uh, i'll end this lecture inshallah i'll see you in the next uh, class so till then take care and allow